My thinking is that my place in life right now, my chapter in life, is trying to teach my son Josiah and impart as much of what I know, what I can, because when I'm gone, it's over. All that knowledge I got, you know, you can't like put it on a plate, it all makes who I am, who, who I am, you know. There's gonna be a day where I'm gonna look back on all of this time that we were able to spend together and that's literally time I could never get back. You know, these resources are finite. And so for me, it's super important to give back more than, than you receive because everything you get from the ocean, from the, it's a blessing, you know, that cannot be replaced. You cannot just think of now. If you think of here and now, I mean, you know, you'd get lost in a shuffle, you know what I mean? I fish here together with my son Josiah, and we're a father-son team. And I run Hallelujah Ho Fishing Charters on Molokai, and we primarily target bonefish. I started uh, doing this over about 10 years ago. Unlike other parts of the world that have a lot smaller fish, the fish we have here are exceptionally larger. Fly fishing in freshwater, fly fishing in saltwater is two different games. Like a lot of times, some kind of fishing, you're just casting a lure and hope something bites. Here, we're actually walking. It's 90% hunting, and the rest is seeing a fish and then actually hooking it. Sometimes you see it, you cast, but they don't eat. You know, you're like, ah, you know. But uh, that's the whole ball game. Beautiful Hawaiian bone fish. When you see one, try to get your cast. The wind's blowing, you gotta counteract for the wind, compensate for the line. So you don't want the line too close to the fish. It hits the water, pop, gone. We killed nothing. 100% catch and release. We're out here, you know, making it better. Sometimes I learn from him, you know, like give back to the resource before you take anything, you know. Even if you go out and you, you, know, you take some trash with you, some old fishing line hooks, whatever, you know, whatever you can do. And a lot of times it comes around, you know, you're rewarded. So it is super, super special to be able to have that generational connection and tie, not just to the fishing and that sort of thing, but to the land, you know, to the ocean. This here for my grandkids one day and their children, you know what I'm saying? Almost every time I go fishing, it doesn't matter where, what style of fishing, I always will see one monarch butterfly. And we say, like, that's Grandpa. One of these days I know he's going to be here with me still, even though he might not be physically. I know I'll still have that connection. Literally everything that I have is because of him.